Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to Cosmonaut Mostly in Workers and Resources, Soviet Republic. Right, okay, so we've got this shiny new steel mill and we've got uh, workers in it. And, uh, you know, that is wonderful, but it's not doing anything. Right, so what we need is uh, some, uh, I don't know, what might be useful? Trains. Yeah, so we can bring uh, a couple of trains in that will bring uh, coal up from down here and iron down from up here, right? So, yeah. Uh, now, I think we want to have basically two coal trains for one iron train to balance it, and we've got three uh, tracks here. And then the output will end up going into here, which uh, we can use to as a supply point for uh, construction materials and also uh, we can use it as a export point right okay um, first of all we need trains where's the train depot the train depot is over here um, let's get uh, time rolling a little bit uh, we're going to need to take a loan or two to uh, to get the uh, the trains so let's um Let's set this up for taking a million ruble loan for five years. Yep. Um, now, uh, we want to buy a new vehicle. And we're going to want an electric loco. And, okay. So, what? No... Uh, right. Uh, we want, uh, this one does, uh, okay, that one does 120 with, uh, 3120, uh, kilowatts. That does 100 with 48, 4600 kilowatts. Hmm. Maybe we'll go with the VL10. No, no, maybe, no, we'll go with, I think maybe we'll go with that one. Uh, this one, uh, 50, 100 kilowatts. Uh, yeah, that's not going to work unless we, we're going to need a couple million because we're going to want, okay, one. Yeah, okay. Uh, and then we're going to go uh, cargo wagon. Uh, we're going to need uh, hoppers. 60, nope. Um, yeah. Uh, okay. So, uh, uh, do we have it? No. Okay. Well, hopper. Uh, okay, put this where we can see it. If we make them six, uh, six hoppers long, yeah, okay. Can we, can we just, uh, duplicate a train? Hmm. And we go back into here. Yeah, and we go into here. Okay, now. Can we? No, we can't. Okay, one, two, three, three. Three, four, five, five, six, one, two, three, four, uh, five, six. Okay, so we've got three trains in there. Good. We're going to need another train for exporting 
but that's going to be in the uh, the what you who's it the the uh, train uh, distribution office. Okay, so let's go and right you. Uh, we'll go here. Bam. And here. Yep. Okay, so this is going to be wait until unloaded. And that'll be iron. And that'll be wait until loaded with iron yeah okay good and we'll go in here and we'll call this this will be steel mill iron supply yep Okay, you can start. Good. Then you can go down here. Bam. And then you can go up here. Bam. Okay, and this is going to unload coal. Wait till unloaded. And this is going to wait until loaded with coal. Yep. And this will be steel mill coal supply. Yep. Good. And then you will, will go on there. Yep. And then we will start those. Okay. Okay, now, which one of those will go first? This one. Okay. Let's just follow it. Yeah, we'll, we'll follow it, see what path it takes. As the camera clips through buildings and everything else. Okay. Look, we're going through more buildings. Yay! I really do need to fix the track along here. But it does feel appropriately Soviet, doesn't it? And along we go here. Yeah, so we're heading down to the, uh, the coal uh, facility. Got a fair number of trees in here. That's kind of cool, actually. And we come down here. Isn't it fun clipping through trees? Into the station where we will do a bunch of loading. Okay. Now here. Yeah. Okay, this guy... We're going to take 360 tons each trip. And we're going to come up here. Okay. We've got in here iron. Okay. Now we will observe that. Yeah, we've got our coal uh, moving. Uh, there's another train going. 
and yeah. I'm thinking we might have a power shortage in the rails, um, possibly. Um, yeah, it's missing coal because the coal is still coming. Yeah. And we'll, okay, so we'll get the steel mill up and we'll get this up and then we'll see what happens here. I might add a, uh, a, um, forklift operation in here in the future. Okay, now we have coal. There we go. Now we are producing steel. Yes. Good. Now I can go up here. Have I switched the uh, import operations? We are going to stop loading steel at the import operations. We're going to go down here and we're going to load steel at 0% there. So we'll load whatever steel we can get there uh, for construction supplies. Okay. Good. Now, uh, we are producing steel at a pace. So we've got our... Yeah, so our, our trains are going to park there for a little bit. Now, um, you are... An export train right yeah now we're gonna go in here um, we're gonna add a connection here yep and we're gonna load at eighty nine percent apparently can we yeah we can't go any higher than that um, okay and we're gonna go to we're going to grab uh, wagons uh, auto no no that's the wrong thing uh, here yeah uh, cargo wagon. Uh, we're going to need open cars. So the open car here, uh, that's 21 tons, that's 23 tons. They both carry 69 tons of steel. Uh, okay. One, two, three, four, five, five, six of them maybe. Uh, where is the thing there? Yeah. Yeah, six of them, I, I think, maybe. And I think maybe we're going to want a couple more of these. Uh, electric locos. Yeah, we'll add a couple more of those. Yeah. Okay. Now, this we'll need to uh, get up to closer to the 1100 tons storage, right? And that means that our uh, operations here will need to uh, keep keep going, right? Uh, which they should do is where you know they'll they'll pause periodically and then they'll they'll start up again when the resources reappear. Right. Uh, so we're going to have coal trains going back and forth, iron trains. Go yeah, okay, now it's going to pause while the iron train comes, which it's doing. There we go. And now we'll just uh, keep on going with iron. What will ultimately happen is we will catch up in production to the uh, the level that will be kept in here. 
and that that uh, production level uh, uh, that will uh, then then uh, the trains will be going back and forth less often uh, I believe okay we got our other coal train has returned um, it might be worth adding a uh, a train station here um, connecting it into this business and having say the iron there or something like that so we can have a second iron train yeah or some sort of uh, storage yard operation here or something like that um, but I'm not going to uh, well we've got room we could do it here um, yeah well uh, I'm not going to uh, do that just yet. Um, yeah, so if we could have another of each train parked here. Uh, yeah, I don't think we need that though. Like we're up to 125 tons of steel in here already. Uh, you know, it will get up to uh, a, a thousand tons in there and, and we'll have plenty uh, stored up to uh, build a decent level of whatever right but it would be potentially good to have have a uh, an entrance yard here and an exit yard here right or an exit track huh well whatever good okay Now, are we just, um, no, we're keeping up there. Where'd the, uh, where'd the iron train go? Oh, the iron train is back there. Okay. Right. Yeah, that's iron. And that's coal. Right. Okay, now how's coal doing down here? We're, uh, we're running out of it. Uh, okay. Now here, um, coal. No, here, uh, is there anywhere we're unloading coal other than customs? Um, yeah, let's stop exporting coal. Uh, okay. Well, maybe we could keep exporting coal. Uh, it'll depend on... Yeah, let's not export coal for, for a while. Okay. Yeah, we don't need to once the steel exports get get uh, you know, ramp up. Yeah, I think I will ultimately put a, a forklift operation in here. Uh, and it'll just look busier, right? So I could put a forklift garage over here and a uh, junction here for the uh, factory connection and then the forklifts could load from here and drop off here and I've got a mod with some larger forklifts that are uh, a, I think are a little bit more appropriate uh, for heavy industry so um, yeah there's that but we're up to 220 tons in here but if I was to uh, hmm. Yeah, I could. You know what? I think I am going to do that just for the lols. So I think we just need four forklifts in there. So uh, if we go in here and we go for a uh, forklift garage, just a... Uh, 
a vanilla one will do here. But here's the um, here's the uh, the modded one, uh, which just holds eight forklifts, right? I can put that in if it turns out to be uh, necessary. Uh, but the vanilla one is fine, and I could put that right about. I could put it off this way. Now, if I put it this way. Now, nah, I'll put it down here. Uh, no, I can put it off of the uh, road access there. Yeah. Bam. Okay, so we'll get that built. Oh, right, I have to assign the construction. Uh, build that. Yep. Yeah. Once this is built and supplied with forklifts, uh, I can go ahead and... Uh, And redo this, and then we can have forklifts whizzing about here, and that would be cool. Uh, yeah, that would be cool, I think. It just looked cool, right? Just have something happening there, right? Um, okay. Now, out of curiosity, we have we have uh, uh, people without flats again. Uh, probably, I'll end up putting them along here. <laughs> Uh, putting more flats along here. Uh, a big block of them in here, probably. Um, you know, because then they can they can all work down here. Uh, how, how's this doing for staffing? It's staffed. Uh, this is uh, almost full. That's full. Okay, so we are catching up with, we've caught up with our, our coal production. Yep, okay. Uh, steel, we're up to, uh, see, I want to have a, a low watermark around the thousand tons, uh, just because then it gives uh, a large amount for uh, things to load, right? Um, okay. Well, we do have vehicles coming here to do work. Okay. Once this building is built, I'll add it to the fuel distribution network and uh, and then we'll just have much excitement, right? Uh, what are you? Colvale Fuel Distributors. I can use them. Yes. Um, okay. Uh, what are you waiting for? Okay. Asphalt. Yeah, I didn't need that to be uh, paved, but oh well. Um, okay, anyway, steel. This is going to be our last uh, absolutely major uh, import expense. Um, after that, uh, the next thing to get going is the stuff that depends on crops, right? And uh, and we haven't uh, we haven't got uh, all that much that we need to uh, to worry about there. Uh, other than a bunch of plumbing it in. Uh, the interesting thing will be how we get the crop collection and, you know, to, uh, I think I want to get that to a central location and then distribute from there. And I'll have to, we'll, we'll, we'll end up spending time figuring out how to do that. But I'm wondering if maybe I should look into uh, enabling uh, water and sewage uh, in this, on this save. Uh, after we get the uh, no here after we get this uh, sorted out see we owe 16 and a half million but 
once steel exports ramp up, that should uh, that should dramatically uh, decrease. Uh, it was up to uh, we're up to ha uh, just a short of halfway full there. Uh, if you about halfway full, if you count this. And there we go. Whoosh. Steel production's back up. Um, where are... Okay, we are bringing the stuff necessary to complete everything. Good. Um... <laughs> That's funny. Uh, right. Oh, yeah, we are using our steel from there. Good. That is good. Okay. Okay, now we just need labor to finish that road. Now, from here, can we get to... No, we can't. Well, we can't because there's no road yet. Okay. But I think just that they should be able to go around this way. And if they can... Uh, that'll get us better labor for constructing the building. Now here, yep. And there we go, there's the road. Okay. Build that, yep. And here... Uh, we don't need much anything to build this. No, we don't. Let's just allow whatever workers we can get outside the C the construction office, the CO. Uh, yeah, we could keep the uh, steel mill running a little more constantly if we had uh, if we had parking there and for extra trains and uh, we had an extra. Iron train, I think. Yeah, that that would probably do it. Okay, now here. Yeah, we're just waiting for supplies. We don't need much. Yep. And concrete and gravel. And then we'll need steel in the final phase. Okay. And we do have, uh, we have the workers, okay. And we'll need a bit of steel, and then we'll be good. Right, okay, so that, that's working out. This is uh, quite the, uh, that's quite the sprawl we've got here. Uh, I do still want to open up another oil field and bring the oil down into here. Um, but I want to get the uh, finances sorted out first. And here... Oh. Are we exporting iron? Uh, I think we are. Let's, uh, let's go down here. Uh, iron. We're not unloading iron anywhere from here, are we? Just the customs house. Yeah. But we're only going there if it's f if it's at 90%. Okay, so that should be fine. Now, is our problem here lack of workers? It does seem like it might be. <laughs> This, yeah, okay. Well, I'll, I'll let that tick along a bit and just see how it's doing uh, later. Uh, once this catches up, like fills up, uh, I think it'll catch up and we should be fine. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah, this is done. Good. Uh, right, so we will add that to the 
uh, fuel thing. Yep. Okay, good. Now, here we're going... Now, do we have American fort, forklifts that are any good? Two tons? No. They carry two tons of steel, 1.4 tons of steel. Yeah, so... Right. Now, here, four tons of steel. Um... You know what? I'm going to go with these guys. These are from a mod. Um, and I'm not particularly worried about the uh, the mod uh, factor here. Um, anyway, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here and cancel the factory connection there. Put a... Uh, really? We can't... Uh, Okay, so can we get that to to actually do something useful? Uh, can we get... It won't connect to that. Okay. So if I put the, this here, uh, like this... Can I get this to connect, or is the, the road in the way? The road's in the way. Really? Okay. So I'll go in here. Cancel the road. Then we can go... Where is it? There. Then we can connect that. Now, can I put the road back? Uh, there's some layering issues here. Uh, I think we can just go with an asphalt road. Uh, really? Is it just, uh, snapping that's the issue? Uh, okay, turn snapping off. Really? Huh. Okay. Right. Um, so cancel that. Okay. Now this. Now, yeah, if we do that, does that allow the road to build? Yes. Okay. Uh, first of all, let's build that. Yep. And then we'll go back in here and build those. And I think we can... Yeah. Okay. Now, I was doing some experimentation with factory connections uh, in, my, in an offline game. And uh, the factory connection itself will count as a road for getting construction vehicles to items in the factory connection network. Uh, so, uh, yeah, we don't have too much of a problem there. Uh, right. But we do need to have all of this stuff get constructed before we can, before this will uh, uh, resume, right? Um, okay, so, that, but, okay, so we need this built, so... We, we need the uh, the gravel. Okay, gravel will come. And this is just asphalt, so it's not going to do that last step with the uh, uh, light posts, right? It doesn't need it. But I do need the road connection for the uh, other business there. Um, right. So these uh, basically build uh, just like an asphalt road, because uh, that's what they are. Uh, so... Yeah, uh, I think it might be, you know, we could do a little bit of detailing here and put a uh, gravel or asphalt uh, appearance on there. Uh, but I'm not going to do that while you're watching. Uh, instead, uh, 
we'll just uh, we'll just wait this out here, getting the uh, these things built. Um, okay. Right. And this is, uh, okay, so we, we've bulldozered that. This is waiting for asphalt, right? Is that coming? Yeah, it is. Okay. So this will get completed. This will get completed. This is waiting for what? Uh, workers. Okay. Um, yeah, I think with the four, uh, forklifts, it'll be able to move this, the production out of here fast enough to fill this up at a decent rate once we catch up with everything, right? Um, I just I just want to see how how efficient that is with the larger forklifts. Oh look, we have uh, pavers uh, being used. Isn't that wild? Pavers are being used. Uh, okay, and off that goes. And now we just need it to. Yeah, finish rolling. Yeah. And same with that. Yeah. So as you see, it's exactly the same production process. Um, right. Okay. Rolling will finish there. That road will go up. Oh, right. I should get... Okay. Now we can uh, construct those. Yeah. Good those can get uh, built what does this need concrete okay asphalt and gravel right okay so that should be coming into there right yep so that just needs workers now this one it has the gravel coming yep Okay, so we'll observe here that, uh, okay, yeah, there we go. We're observing that the, the, uh, this stuff will travel up the, uh, see? Uh, so just like paths, construction can, uh, can work along there, uh, which is, uh, somewhat useful, uh, right. Uh, okay, this one... Just needs the gravel and then workers. Okay. But I think it does need the bus to get the workers to it. So uh, do we have a bus coming? Yeah, we do. And a crane, I'll bet. Or a uh, digger. Okay. That might get done before the mechanism arrives. Uh, or maybe not. Where's that going? Okay, it's going there. Yeah, it's the excavators coming there. And... That... Okay, yeah, that will uh, that will get it done a little bit faster, right? Good. So we have the factory connection there. Now we just need this completed. Now, what do we have coming? A dumper. Okay, we have what we need to uh, finish it. Uh, is definitely on the way. So there's that. Okay, that's workers. 
that's not useful. I do wish the uh, construction offices were a little bit smarter about uh, delivery of uh, uh, resources and stuff that, that they could schedule it better. Now, that is a hard problem for the uh, programmers to work out, so I understand why they haven't. But uh, we got a paver there now, so that's definitely going to complete with this batch of workers. Okay, along it goes. Yay, we're paving. Okay, paving's done. Now we're rolling, and that should be all we, we need. And then I'll be able to get the... Uh, see, the steel mill is now not producing because it's full, right? Uh, that should uh, that should finish everything off there okay and we have fuel so we can uh, go and uh, add a task here here don't load there don't unload there we'll load there at zero and we'll unload there at any level Okay. Good. So you can see here the uh, the forklifts are actually uh, keeping up with the production uh, with the number of workers we have in there, right? Uh, and that's uh, that's kind of kind of what I want. And doesn't this look cool with the stuff whizzing around on here? And it looks like four forklifts is the maximum we can get in there just based on forklift loading speed over here. So yeah, that's um, that's kind of what I want. Now we could do this faster potentially by using trucks that go from the steel mill to the uh, storage. Um, but that, you know, I, that's just, this just looks cool. Now, let's, um, let's just uh, observe the, uh, the forklifts here. See, it's not so uh, ridiculous, although how that stays on the forks, who knows. But it's not so ridiculous that they'd uh, move uh, four tons, right? Uh, they're they're heavy duty forklifts, right? They just they have weight back here to offset the four tons here. Yeah. Okay. So that's that. And this is uh, this is building up. Uh, okay. So. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the recording and I'll come back as soon as we have a steel export train uh, coming. So I'll be back in a moment here. Okay, uh, we're just about at 89% full in the uh, open storage here. So uh, let's just uh, observe here. I turned coal exports back on as well. Um, so, um, we should be seeing a train spawn up here soonish. Um, we should. Because the open storage... Um, open storage, medium two, yep. Uh, should be seeing it soon, because we're at 91%. Oh, I don't, ha I understand, okay. 
we are not unloading steel here. Right, there we go. Now, let's just observe this. We're going to take 414 tons of steel, which will take a little bit to, uh, to load. But take a look at the value that we're going to export here. Um, as it uh, tallies up here, we're going to export uh, 280k um, when this uh, gets to the border. Yeah. Now it's going to take a minute for this to uh, this to uh, catch up. You can also see that the forklifts are keeping up with the uh, steel. Uh, production. So when it gets to the border, and you know, let's just observe at the border here. Um, yeah, what is it coming? Which way is it coming around? Ah, there it is. So at the border, yep. Now uh, it exports at a uh, fairly substantial uh, rate. So that will uh, that will get uh, exports uh, ticking along uh, quite a lot um, uh, better. Uh, so as you can see, we we pick up. Uh, yeah, we're up to. 200 and some K there. Um, yeah, that's uh, that's what I, I, w I wanted to get the uh, the steel operation going for. And we're we're uh, filling it up again. Um, and uh, eventually that will uh, that will fill up and uh, we'll have that going on. Uh, this, I think, is not going to be quite enough to, uh, to fill the, uh, the full um, uh, 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 cost, uh, monthly cost. Um, but just before I go, uh, let's, uh, let's check in on here. Uh, yeah, we're we're needing 470 k uh, per uh, per month, and that's still rather a lot, right? Um, but we have a bunch of these uh, two million uh, ruble uh, loans, and if I were to uh, change them to one million, uh, come on. There we go. If I were to borrow that and then go in here and uh, pay this, uh, yes, this does cost more money in the long run, but this is about potentially lowering the monthly commitments, right? So if we borrow here and we repay this one, Okay, and then if we, no, if we uh, borrow here and we repay this one, right, um, and uh, we can repay this one as well. Yeah, and if we go uh, we can repay that. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. So it's these two million ones, they have a higher payment because they're uh, larger. Um, uh, 
but paying them off, make, shrinking them to million ruble uh, uh, loans. Um, uh, let's do two of those. And we uh, kill that one off. Now we have a million. Okay, we got that. Um, okay, so uh, we're that's down to uh, th uh, under 300k or to about 300k monthly, right? And that will make a huge difference in the overall, um, uh, you know, cost of uh, running things. Um, what I'm going to do though is I'm going to pay these two off as well, combine them. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, that doesn't change the equation any, but uh, it's one less item on the list here, right? Um, okay, and then as these bits come up where we can actually pay them off, uh, it might be worth paying it off, ju again, just to reduce the monthly uh, uh, commitments. Um, but as, as you can see here, this is uh, building up relatively quickly. We're up to 75% in there. And I think we can speed that up a bit, uh, potentially, with uh, more workers in a couple of strategic places. Um, right. Um, anyway, uh, the whole, uh, the whole situation here is, uh, uh, we've got, uh, we've got steel production online. So now we're making money with steel instead of, uh, spending money on it for construction. And that means that we can go ahead and build more expensive things. I think all of the construction materials are now. Uh, importable, the basic ones, uh, are, are all uh, self-produced. Uh, what's left is mechanical and uh, electronic components or electrical components, right? So that means uh, we're producing just about everything we need uh, to build things uh, just across the board. Uh, and we're exporting various things here like, uh, like this stuff here. Uh, that's bring you know, like the fuel and bitumen is bringing in a steady income. So if we look in here, uh, we on this uh, November uh, 1976, we had a net positive of 770k, and that's a month where we exported steel, I believe. So uh, that uh, and um, and that's going to be. Uh, that, that's just going to be a uh, a big uh, uh, you know a, a big offset here. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, so we're up to 600k here. Uh, so I'd be able to clear one of these loans uh, any time now. Um, we're exporting power too, aren't we? Yeah, we are. Uh, okay. Um, Right, so we've got uh, we've got cash coming in here, and we're we're uh, we're doing okay. Uh, and uh, anyone who thought that I was going to be uh, irretrievably in the hole, well, I'm not out of the hole yet, but I think you can see how the hole can be exited at this point. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna put the cut here. This is longer than I uh, meant it to be, but. Uh, I'll just mention before I go that I have a Patreon. So if you want to support the channel, you can do that. Uh, don't feel obligated, but you can. Uh, the link will be in the doobly-doo. And uh, yeah, uh, see you back next time.